In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use song sections to help organize your songs and your workflow here in GarageBand. So, let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live Today where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music and we're back here in GarageBand on my iPad to show you what is going on up here. Why do I have my songs segmented into all these little chunks? Well, all is about to be revealed. Now, whether you're using GarageBand or any other platform to write and record a song, there's a heap of ways to approach it. You would have seen if you've watched previous videos, otherwise they're linked down below if you want to catch up, that to start this song, I literally just came in here and gave myself a bunch of bars and started jamming. So everything to start with kind of looked a bit like this. It was all in these one big long sections here and you can see that with the drums and the bass. They're all just in big long sections. So what have I done here? Well I've actually grabbed my last take of this guitar and I'm going to use this as my song section setup. That's a lot of S's and I'll show you how I approach this and why it's such a cool option for you to arrange your GarageBand songs. Let's jump in and take a look. Now, as you can see, I've already done this for the guitar. I've got all of these named sections here and every little chunk of audio has been renamed to tell me what I'm actually going to play in that section. So as I'm creating this song, I know there's my main riff, there's my intro, there's my verse riff. As we come across here, I've got a little interlude for four bars, into verse two for eight bars, another eight bars, and then my chorus. So for me, this is a good way to get organized. And again, if you don't like this, if you just want the, the randomness uh, and just to, to be more creative, that's cool too. But this just helps you when you start building out your different instruments and your different tracks as I'm going to start doing now. So what I thought I would do is I'll show you the process. I didn't want you to have to watch me do this. It did take about 10 minutes to do all of these structures, but I'll show you here just a couple of options on the bass track here so you can see how you can get this done. So let's zoom on in. Let's just say you, like me, had one big long track and now you're working out what section is what. Well, this is what we need to do. So we'll come in here. Now, I happen to know that these first two bars are actually just a lead in. So let's uh, turn the volume back up on this one. And if we play these two bars with just these two tracks, there's nothing there, right? It starts there. So there's our guitar, only on the one side. There you go, there's stereo. Uh, it sounds like that. Cool, so what I would want to do here is, let's just say this was my first track, I would now wanna start splitting it out to the different sections. So this main riff here that I have goes up to here, right? And I know this because I've already marked it out there, but if I didn't, what I would need to do is come to the start of this one and then start splitting. Now to split here in GarageBand, we just tap and then we tap on the split button and then we grab this handle and just slide straight on down. There you go, that split. The cool thing about the split tool is if we wanna continue splitting, say so now we know that this is the next section we want to split. We can just grab our split handle, drag it across to the right spot, and then pull on down again. So if I wanted to do this, I could continue on because I already know my splits. Say I wanted to split up this base, I can do it really easily by just doing this. Now, if you're doing it your first time, you might kind of have to stop and like try and find where the different sections are if you don't already have it mapped out. But you can see here that quickly we can get these sections together. But you can see here that they've all just got the same name, whereas up here, I've been able to name them. So let's now jump in and show you how to rename these sections and get your structure happening. So back to the start of the song, we'll hit the button there to go back. So to rename, all we need to do is tap, tap again, and then hit the rename option on the actual audio chunk. So on the waveform, you don't wanna click over here, you'll get a different set of options. This is where you do your merging and your duplicating and your automation. But what you wanna do is click right here or tap right here on the waveform and then tap on rename. And then you'll get this down the bottom here. We don't want it to be garage revival, we'll delete that out. This is going to be our lead in. So I've just got the keyboard connected here, but if you're using the on-screen keyboard, same deal and then we can come to this section now what you use for your naming conventions is entirely up to you what I tend to do is put the part of the song as first and then what part I'm playing so it's good to just sort of have intro verse chorus verse etc but oh, I've got that wrong intro is main riff uh, let's try that again we'll come back in here and you can see it's easy to come back and just fix things up main riff so I wanna know not only what part of the song I'm in, but because I'm playing the guitar and then I'm gonna play the bass and the drums, I wanna know what pattern we're in. Am I playing that main riff? Am I playing the chorus riff, the bridge? What part am I actually gonna play there? So that's as simple as that. We come across here, we just continue to do the same thing. So tap, tap on rename, 
come down the bottom here, and then this one is going to be our first verse, so verse one, and this is going to be our verse riff. So you can see here, we can easily start bringing this together, and I've already done this to save you the pain of watching me. And yes, it does take a little bit of extra time, but I promise you the 10 minutes you spend setting up your sections like this and naming them now is going to help you. And it's certainly going to help me because now I know how my song is mapped out. Uh, now I know you might notice at this very end bit, I've got another section here. Now this is where I'm gonna do something a bit tricky. I'm actually going to go from a slower part to a faster part. I'm gonna change up up the speed. Now that is going to require some garage band hackery, which I'll be showing in a future video. So if you're not already subscribed, I recommend doing that if you want to learn how to do this because I'm going to, like I said, making things hard for myself will be at that regular tempo throughout and then it's going to do a ch 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 and it's going to kick into a really fast bit. Let's just take a listen to some of that. So we've got our main riff here. It's going to finish off with like this. And then that's going to ring out here at the end. If we come back to this sort of last bar, it's going to do a bit of a ring out here. We've got that two bar interlude, then we're going to get a t t t t t and then we're going to kick in with some, uh, some fast guitar sounds uh, that are going to sound a little bit something like this. And I haven't quite decided whether I'm going to do the speed ramping there to make it extra hard for myself or whether I'll just go with one speed. But that should be a lot of fun to try and to experiment with, which we will do in a future video. Now, at this stage, you might be saying, Pete, I thought song sections were up in this little plus section here. And I thought what you would do is you'd add in individual sections. Well, yes, I will do that. I have actually showed that in a previous video. I'll have that one linked up there and in the description so you can check that out. So even if like this, you don't have song sections added, you can actually add them in and to do it is actually pretty quick. I'll show you a quick example here. And if you want a full explanation, you can jump over there. So if we tap on add here, you can see here, we can add a new section. Let's just make it two bars because we know our first lead in section is going to be two bars. We can then tap add again. We know our next section is going to be eight bars and I'm pretty sure the next section is eight bars too. The reason this isn't as good as having those the way that I just showed you is you can't name these. I know there should be a little option there that just says name section and then everyone would be happy. We don't have that in GarageBand. So combining these two methods is kind of like the ultimate. So what I would do now is grab this section A, tap on edit and drag this one down to the end of my track and see what's happened over here. It's opened up these three sections at the front and now we can hit done on that one and come back over here. And now it's gonna go into those sections but we wanna tap there and go to all sections. There we go. So what I would now do is I can start moving these things. So forget about all these other tracks because these were just placeholder tracks. But say I wanted to get this set up with just my guitar and my bass is I can just do a little highlight over there and shimmy these over into that section. The same with this. And you can see I'm doing these one by one, but if you set up all your sections and you knew that they were all matching, you could actually do them all at once. So there you go, you do one, two, three, and there's your three sections with your three sections there. And now these will match up with those B, C, and D sections that you had. If we just undo that, I'll show you that if you had this all mapped out, all you'd need to do is highlight your whole thing and then just slide it across and a little fit in like a glove. So there you go. Hopefully this gave you a few ideas if you're setting up a project to record here in GarageBand. There's two more videos down there and there if you want more information and join me on the next video as we'll be continuing to create this song here in GarageBand.